Here we're, we're going to look at the term entropy. And I kind of like this image right here. And as we learned about the term, this has a very low entropy. This is a very high entropy on this side here. Low entropy is nice, neat, organized. High entropy, you see that increase in disorder and that spreading out. So entropy, it's the measure of the degree of randomness or disorder or usable energy in a closed system that's not available for useful work. So when we see something as low entropy, is a much more ordered system. You see here, low entropy, nice, ordered, organized um, system here, as you can see here in the tall tower. Here we are having very low entropy, and we are increasing our entropy here with that increasing amount of randomness that occurs. High entropy is going to have a high amount of randomness, this disorganization, this disorder. You see that low entropy progressing to an area of high entropy. The second law of thermodynamics is that referring to is a referring to entropy increases. So again, low entropy, nice and organized, high entropy, very random. We can see that in this also. The controlled demolition of the Coliseum in New Haven. So we start with that low entropy, everything's nice, neat, and organized, and then the explosive go off, go off and now we have a very high degree of entropy. We have that kind of increasing in the amount of randomness. We start very nice, neat, and organized, and it was a very random, messy pile there. So entropy, referring it to uh, the food chain and trophic levels, the useful energy available to the next level decreases. So what does this mean? So we have our sun's energy here, and that is involved with our primary producers, 100% of the energy here. As we work from primary producers to primary consumers up our trophic levels, roughly 10% of the energy is transferred from one trophic level to the next. So we're simply moving that decimal by 10. And this is preventing large amounts of trophic levels. This is why our apex predators are so few and far between, while our primary producers are very prevalent. The sun's energy and recycled nutrients are the main uh, sources of energy here in our pyramid. Now, as we're reducing or the amount of energy that's transferred, where's that energy going? We have to still take account for that. Well, a lot of it's lost um, energy as heat. And when I say the word lost, we know where it goes. It just becomes unusable. That's why we consider it lost. And also decomposers at any one of these stages can break these trophic levels down and add back in the recycled nutrients to the bottom of the pyramid that the primary producers can use. And then again, it can fall into the cycle here. So hopefully this is a little bit of an understanding what entropy is and the degree of randomness or the degree of disorder that may exist in your life. You could relate it to your room where your room might have a high degree of entropy where it's very messy. When you go through and organize it, you'll have a very low sense of entropy and a high degree of organization.